Am I recording? Yes. Hey guys, it's Chelsea. Um, as you can see, Brooke is not here with me today. I've decided to do a solo video just talking about some things that I've been going through and in a way it's affected both of us, but I just wanted to be able to talk about it and share it with you guys. So, here we go. As many of you may know, I have bipolar disorder and it's something that I've been really struggling with lately. In the beginning of the year, I went straight into a manic episode and it lasted for like a good two weeks, maybe a little more. Let me just tell you, I was on cloud nine. I was having such a great time. I just wanted to go out, just go on adventures go shopping with uh, what little money I did have. I gave zero fucks about uh, everything. I didn't care. I was in this like euphoric state and I was untouchable. Even though that sounds like a really good time, with every up there is a down, right? The downside to the elevated moods is that I get very anxious. I get very snappy, like I get irritated really quickly and that was happening and so I was like kind of picking fights with Brooke. Well, not really picking fights but kind of starting them because I'd have an attitude over something that was so minuscule but it was just, it was, it was not a good time. I get really overwhelmed. I get really overwhelmed with all the different thoughts going through my head with everything I wanted to do. My mind was just going like a million miles a minute and I couldn't concentrate on one thought long enough to execute anything. And so that would just get me so frustrated. I would lash out at Brooke and that's just, you know, really unfair to her. I hated it, I hated it. Cause as soon as it would happen, I would realize it happened. And so I would try to brush it off and you know, that's not okay. Cause obviously like I hurt her feelings and there's no worse thing than knowing that you've hurt the one person that you love most in the world. And so that was tough. Like I said, with every up there's a down and the mania doesn't last forever. And so I started to come out of it and there were a couple days where I was like, you know, kind of tired, but just probably recovering from the constant madness of the past couple weeks. And then like I immediately sunk down into this depression that I've had for probably going on a month now. So the depression just kind of crept in and it started to take over everything. The way it affected me starting out was anytime I'd get excited or I was having fun, I'd start feeling guilty for it. Like I didn't deserve it if Brooke like was trying to cheer me up and you know, I'd start to smile just these, you know, this voice would come into my head and just tell me like I wasn't worth being happy and I didn't deserve to be happy and why should I? Brooke's been really patient with me though and like I said, she like, she tries to cheer me up sometimes and tries to get me to go out and do things. I've almost, I've almost completely withdrawn from everything in my life. The only time I do go out and see anybody totally out of obligation because I know the way I'm being and I know that if I just shut these people out, this is something that, you know, could ruin relationships like friendships and that's not what I want. So I force myself to go into these uncomfortable situations like just having dinner with my best friend. You know, I wanted to cancel it with everything inside of me but you know that's not fair to her she doesn't ever get to see me and so i just had to buckle down and do it and you know i'm glad i did and like family stuff i'm obviously gonna go to out of obligation but if it were up to me i would just lay here and decay in my bed and that's that's really hard because it's not just me in this situation and this is something Brooke has to deal with too and so I just I feel so guilty sometimes like like I'm such a burden you know in her life I'm what they call high functioning and that's kind of scary because it's it's a little dangerous even because you know I'll be totally fine 
in everyone else's eyes like I go to work and like these like I just said like the going out out of obligation and stuff like I do it and I just I put this smile on my face and I just bottle it all up and I hide it I'll just suck it up I'll stuff it down and then eventually I'll just implode Brooke half the time doesn't even know that there's something wrong until it's gotten really bad and then it's even harder to talk about because she had no idea how I was feeling I just I can't help it sometimes because when you have these like scary thoughts in your head the last thing you want to do is you know tell the person you love that you don't want to live anymore depression is so much more than just feeling sad or numb to everything or even like just feeling like you have to cry all the time you know a lot of people think that's what depression is or that's what it feels like but Depression is also feeling worthless, like you don't matter, you're just a burden on everybody and um, sometimes it feels like nothing at all. You're just here existing and you watch everyone else around you. It's like, it's like being in a party and everyone's having a great time and laughing and stuff but you're stuck in the middle of the room in a glass box and you don't get to be a part of it because you're stuck inside and that's that's what it feels like is you just watch you just watch the world go on it's just it's really hard to talk about sometimes because you don't want to feel judged because you don't want to be the one that's like you know seeking a pity party because in the back of your mind no one's gonna care anyway you don't even matter so why would anyone care So that's where I'm at. I'm working on it. As some of you may know, I recently started this medication, but I've hit a low that I haven't hit in a long time. And it's coming right out of a high that I, I haven't hit in a long time. So I'm probably gonna have to go see my doctor and get some things worked out. I don't wanna feel hopeless. I don't want to feel like there is, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel. I just feel so defeated. I was gonna say in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna try not to cry, but then I realized that's just bullshit because I've been doing nothing but crying lately, so there was no way I could just promise that. So after, you know, all that is said and done, I just, I wanted to let you guys know where I'm at and why. I've been kind of MIA lately. I haven't been very active on my social medias. Um, I'm trying, but it's just, it's really hard being me right now. I just want to thank everybody for like the constant love and support. Because even though I feel so alone, it's nice to know that I'm not the only one. Bear with me while I get through this. So I appreciate all of you. Or not, I show it in my comments or anything. I, I do appreciate everything that all of you just say and for sharing all of your stories with me. It's um it's really helpful because then it makes you realize you're not just this small person but you're part of a bigger picture. So that's all I have for you guys. Um I don't want to say I hope you enjoyed my update because it's probably sad. So uh <laughs> give the video a big fat thumbs up <sighs> all right guys thanks for letting me share my update with you bye